Computers are an integral part of our everyday lives today. They are being used in every industry around the world, from laptops to phones, smart wearable devices and many such devices. Everything you can think of is being done using a website or an application, from watching movies to ordering food or a cab. As you might already know, people write softwares or applications to optimize the use of these computers. With all this popularity comes a massive demand for the people who can write or code those applications that can run on these computers. This has created an opportunity for everyone to learn to program and use that skill in almost every industry they work in. Hey everyone, welcome to another yet exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing the coding roadmap. However, before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, we begin with selecting the first programming language. After that, we shall understand about the data structures and algorithms. Then later, we will move ahead to online boot camps. Followed by that, we will understand the importance of working on projects. Then lastly, we will learn the importance of practicing various modules. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. So on that note, let's have a small interactive session. So the first question for you is, what are the problems you faced while learning how to code? So please let us know what are the hurdles that you faced during your first phase of learning how to code. This might be helpful for the beginners and together we might be possibly find a solution and help the beginners to learn how to code in a better way. Now let's get started with the first concept that is selecting the first programming language. When we start learning coding, the first thing that comes to our mind is the language. Which is the perfect one to choose and which is in the great demand? We have several programming languages at present like Python, Java, JavaScript, PHP, c -sharp, and R language. Let's take a look in detail about the languages which are having a greater career in the present time. At first we have Python. Python is the easiest language to learn coding. Python is an interpreted general purpose programming language that has multiple uses starting from web applications to data analysis. This means that Python can be seen in complex websites such as YouTube or Instagram, in cloud computing projects such as OpenStack, in machine learning, etc. Let us now also discuss some of the important features of Python programming language. Python is one of the free and open source programming languages which is ready to download and use. Followed by that, Python has a greater compatibility with a variety of technologies like big data and web applications and much more. Followed by that, it is also considered to be one of the easiest programming languages to use with limitless support, that is the community support. So followed by the first programming language, let's move ahead into the second programming language that is Java. In this modern time, Java is the best language to choose. Nearly thousands of applications, software and development tools are built using Java. This technology is mainly used in creating websites such as YouTube, Google, Amazon and much more. There's a lot of demand for Java developers in the software industry because of its benefits. Java also provides open source library support, which is a major benefit in the development of applications. Java also offers a wide range of development tools, which help develop applications in a better way. Now let's have a look at the few reasons or important features of Java programming language. Java is object oriented, which means it follows a programming style that includes concepts such as class, object, inheritance, etc. The best thing about Java APIs is that developers can use the same even if they are not very much aware of the internal implementation of the coding structure. Next, Java is open source, which means there is no requirement to write code from scratch. The source is made available for the developers so that they can redistribute the same and use the code as per their requirements. Java enjoys the support of extended community that helps resolve issues as soon as it appears. Now followed by the second programming language, the third programming language is the JavaScript. JavaScript is responsible for fast and secure development. The main advantage and perspective are to provide more interactivity with the users and coders. 
It also helps in expanding innovative technologies which involve animation, gaming and rendering. JavaScript is the most popular language which is a reason for increasing the development speed of applications. It is easy to learn and understand which is the major benefit for learning JavaScript. JavaScript also provides the ability to support all browsers which can be more beneficial to choose JavaScript. Now let's have a few reasons or important features of choosing JavaScript. JavaScript provides smooth and secure development for the applications. JavaScript is also easy to pick up. JavaScript turns intricate details into abstracts making things easier for the newcomer. In server-side JavaScript programming, there is a large set of libraries available in the form of Node Package Manager. JavaScript provides great user interface for the applications. Now, the second interesting question for you. So, are you interested in software development or data science? Are you one of those who likes to code or are you one of those who likes to play with data and analyze and write machine learning algorithms? Please let us know in the comment section below. Consider this to be a poll and let us find out which number we got the highest. Is it the software development or data science? Followed by JavaScript, we have PHP. PHP is a general purpose scripting language geared towards web development. It was created by Danish Canadian programmer Ramos Ledgroff. The PHP group now produces the PHP reference implementation. PHP originally stood for personal home page, but now it stands for the recursive initialism PHP. Now let's take a look at the important reasons or features of PHP. PHP is open source, developed and updated by developers community worldwide, which ensures that the language is not just relevant but also in sync with the latest technological trends. PHP programmed web applications and websites are highly secure as it is an encrypted language and easily scaled, lending to their dynamism and flexibility. PHP works well with Linux, Unix, Mac and Windows and interfaces perfectly with Apache and MySQL. In a word, it covers all the bases and can be executed like a dream on all prominent operating systems. There are insurmountable tools handy for developers seeking specific functionalities and features. Whether it's frameworks, dependency managers, editors or documentation tools, PHP has good quality tools ready for use. The next one is C Sharp. C Sharp is a general purpose multi-paradigm programming language. C Sharp encompasses static typing, strong typing, lexically scoped, imperative, declarative, functional, generic, object-oriented and component object-oriented programming disciplines. Now, let's have a look at the important features of c -sharp programming language. The development using c -sharp is easy compared to other programming languages. If you choose c -sharp as your first programming language, you can pick up a lot of concepts easily. One of the biggest selling points of .NET is that Microsoft provides a wide suite of powerful tools that can help programmers develop better programs. It works on several different operating systems which is another major advantage. Our programming language is very scalable and it makes it easy to build aesthetic web applications. This language is mainly developed using statistics and data science knowledge. R acts as a cross-platform with the ability to run on any operating system. R is machine independent. It supports cross-platform operation. Thus, it is usable on many different operating systems. It is also an open source programming language. Due to this, R has a huge community that contributes to its environment. It helps in the development of interactive web applications and statistics. Now, let's have a look at the important features of R programming language. R is an open source programming language. Anyone can work with R without any license or fee. Due to this, R has huge community that contributes to its environment. R is a machine independent programming language. It supports cross-platform operations. Thus, it is usable on many different operating systems. R programming language can collect the data from the internet through web scraping and other means. It can also perform data cleansing. R can be useful for machine learning as well. Facebook does a lot of its machine learning research with R programming language. Sentiment analysis and mood prediction is also done using R programming language. Now, you might be wondering why we had to choose only these six programming languages, right? So, there is a reason for choosing only these six programming languages, that is, the Stack Overflow Survey. So, according to the Stack Overflow Survey, 
JavaScript is the most popular programming language with an average of 64.96% of developers. Followed by that we have Python with 48%. After that we have Java in the third position with 38% of programmers and C Sharp being the fourth with 27% developers worldwide. And standing next to PHP is C Sharp with 21.98% of developers worldwide. And finally, we have R programming language with 5% of developers worldwide. So these are the top 6 programming languages trending according to the statistics of Stack Overflow survey. Now, this question is for the people who chose data science. So which amongst these two programming languages, Python or R, is going to be the future of data science? So which programming language is going to be the winner? Do let us know in the comment section below. Now let's understand the data structures and algorithms concepts to help the life of a coder. One of the best ways to develop logic building in programming is learning data structures concepts. And these concepts provide an idea of how to build an algorithm. When we can build or implement an algorithm, it is easy to develop programming skills in a person. Developing an algorithm provides a good knowledge base and also helps in increasing the development time. Now, let's take a look at the importance of online boot camps. In these recent years, online boot camps have shown much impact and improvement on learning. They have provided several ways to improve the skills in a person. We have a lot of online boot camps in the present era. Some of them, which are in huge demand, are Simply Learn, Geeks for Geeks, Free Code Camp, Hacker Rank, Code Academy, LinkedIn Learning, Hacker Earth, and much more. So, this question is for the people who chose software development or coding. So, Let's hear it from you. According to you, which programming language is going to take over the IT in the next decade? Is it Java or is it Python or is it JavaScript? Do let us know in the comment section below. Now, let's have a look at the importance of working on a project. One of the best ways to improve knowledge over coding or programming is by working on projects. It is the best way among all the opportunities to learn coding. It involves every stage of codes and programs which is a huge advantage to get knowledge over coding. It involves creativity and logical skills that help gain more knowledge on coding. Working with a project also builds a good career and makes it easy while applying for job opportunities. Most people look for real-time projects that can be more beneficial in improving the logic building skills in a person. These projects hold a key in upskilling the knowledge. Finally. Let us understand on practicing various models of coding questions. Practicing is the important key to learning and implementing ideas. When you are ready to learn code, practice as many times as possible. When we go on practicing, it improves the coding knowledge. There are a number of online communities available to practice and improve coding and programming skills. They provide clean and clear examples to understand the code and learn the code. Practicing a number of models helps to improve and solve programs in a better way. This is a huge advantage to learn coding and programming. And this was all for today's session. I hope now you guys have got a detailed idea of the coding roadmap. If you find the information helpful to build and improve your knowledge of coding and programming, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, would you please let us know in the comment section. We have our experts to answer it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.